know that I uh, will come back to principles of accounts or level. Uh, as I'm saying, I want to look at the question of a question paper of June 2024. Uh, this is uh, the set question paper that was obtained. And I'm going to look at question three, uh, question three A on accounting issues. So uh, this question that you give, I will go through the question and answer uh, as uh, required. So uh, the question reads, uh, CTY is stationary dealer provided the following uh, details on 30 June 2021. Then we are giving you a turnover, a uh, number of books sold, uh, opening inventory, closing inventory, markup. Uh, and then uh, the question reads, show all your workings, calculate the, uh, the first one it requires us to calculate selling price per book. And uh, this question is got uh, two marks. So the formula that we are going to use uh, is going to be a chain over uh, over a uh, number of books sold. So this is uh, the formula that we are going to use uh, on the first part. So I remember on the first part we are prepared we are we are calculating the same price per book then we are going to say our chain over then we divide by the number of books sold then we can get the same price per book uh sold so uh the uh the turnover that we have there we've got six thousand dollars and then we've got the number of books sold we've got 240 uh 240 so again just going to say six thousand divided by 240 so we go back to our other section and we are going to say uh six thousand uh, divided by 240. Remember, this is uh, dollars. Let's divide there, uh, you are supposed to get your, uh, your 25, uh, 25 dollars uh, per book. Remember, uh, the unit that we have there is book. So this uh, is our final answer. So we go back again to see what we have in terms of the next question. Uh, the next question requires us to calculate the margin. Uh, calculate the margin. Remember, uh, when you're calculating margin, uh, we say it is equal to our gross profit uh, divided uh, divide by our sales or turnover. In this case, we are going to use our turnover. Uh, so uh, this is what we remember turnover. We are just saying our sales uh, to calculate our turnover. Uh, we just say uh, our sales uh, minus our sales are returns. Uh, that's how we uh, find the figure for turnover. So uh, basically, we are subtracting our sales returns. So, so then the answer that we get becomes our channel. So uh, this is the formula that we are going to use for uh, for calculating our magic. So if we look at the uh, uh, figures that we are given there, we see that uh, we only are only given 10 over is 6,000, but our gross profit is not there. So uh, how can we calculate? But uh, given that we have put the backup that we are given here, we can as well try to find out our, uh, our magic using our markup. So if you come to our answer section, uh, you would see that uh, markup, uh, we can use the formula that says when you are given your markup, if your markup is supposed to, uh, let's just uh, try to abbreviate it as MU, uh, representing our markup, if your markup is supposed to, uh, let's say it's A over B, uh, you are supposed to convert it to your margin, your, means your margin uh, will be equal to a over B plus A. So this is a formula that you can use to convert your, ma your, your markup to margin, even you can convert your margin to markup. So in this case, uh, if you go back, you see that uh, the figure that we're given is our markup is one over five. So basically here we are now saying uh, one over five. Uh, uh, if you convert it, uh, this is our markup, if you convert it to a margin, we are just using the same uh, method that we are going to say one is our A, one and the, our our b is five so we are saying five plus our plus our a in this case now uh, we are adding our one so it means our margin becomes one over six so basically uh, that's how you can uh convert it uh to magic so this is our answer for uh second part which is two then we can go to the next one uh if you go to the next one it requires us to calculate the gross profit so um uh, when calculating our gross profit if you go there uh you would see that uh um, we we found our margin. I uh, remember I was saying margin is also gross profit over ten over. So it means uh we need to find the gross profit. So I'm just going to say gross profit over ten over is close to uh, the answer for margin that we got there was one over six. So you say gross profit over ten over 
equals to 1 over 6. So basically, uh, what we are saying is uh, if we come here, uh, the next part of the question, we are now on uh, 3. We are saying we can use the formula for margin, uh, which says uh, gross profit over chain of. So in this case, our margin we found it here is 1 over 6. So we are saying uh, margin is equals to 1 over 6 equals to our gross profit. Uh, over our chain over, and we know that our chain over according to the question, uh, we're given this is 6,000. So we come back uh, and try to uh, substitute there 6,000 as our chain over. So we can now find our loss profit by making this type of formula there. So how can we calculate it? Uh, remember, we've got 6,000 here, we can remove 6,000 and multiply by 6,000. Both sides, that we remove 6,000, decide the remainder of our loss profit only. So if you multiply by 6,000, we are just saying uh, 6,000 times 1 over 6 uh, equal to 6,000 over 1 is equal to our gross profit over 6,000 times 6,000 uh, over 1. So obviously 6,000 into 6,000, we are going to get your 1 into the of gross profit. Size. Then uh, here we say 6, 6 into 6,000, so you're going to get uh, your, uh, let's try to see, you're going to get your 1,000. 1, and you multiply by one, you get to one thousand. So, uh, so your gross profit becomes one thousand one. So this is I want to behave on the third part. So we can go move on to the next one. Try to see what to behave. So if you go to the next question, see that it requires us to calculate cost of sales. But remember, cost of sales, uh, we can uh, make it some of the formula in the formula of calculating gross profit, whereby we say, uh. We are now on item four, so we are saying on four. Uh, remember, if we say our chain over minus cost of sales, get your gross profit according to the formula that we have been set in account. So, uh, we we already have our chain over, we have our gross profit, so we can find our cost of sales. So, uh, making cost of sales with formula there, we can take chain over the other side, whereby we are saying, uh. Uh, our, we can just substitute our turnover that we have in the question. We've got 6,000 as our turnover. And then we subtract your cost of sales. And then your gross profit, you have got 1,000 that we found here. We've got 1,000. So at find our cost of sales now, we can take turnover uh, 6,000 to the other side. And you remain with minus cost of sales, uh, whereby we are saying, uh, 6,000, uh, subtract 6,000, and as a cost of sales, it's close to uh, 1,000, you minus your, uh, minus your 6,000. Remember, you're subtracting 6,000 both sides. So if you do that, a year it becomes zero. Remember, if you uh, subtract a year, uh, you're going to say 6,000 minus 6,000, Obviously, you are going to get your sale. So let's try to calculate it as such. Where's the view of the It was off. So if you subtract 6,000 and 6,000 there, you're getting, you're going to get your zero. So it means our negative uh, cost of sales. And then uh, on the other side, you say 1,000 minus 6,000 uh, here, and you are going to get your negative 5,000. So you're going to say a negative $5,000. Uh, 
uh, obviously now to remain uh, with your positive cos of sales here, you're going to divide by a negative one both sides. Uh, so if you divide uh, by a negative this side and then you divide by a negative uh, one this side, uh, obviously you are going to get positive uh, both sides. You're going to say our cost of sales, uh, our cost of sales is equal to, equal to uh, 5,000. So this is what we have. So uh, we can go back to the question to see what we have next. So if you come here, uh, you'd see that now uh, the next question that we have uh, requires us to calculate our purchases. So obviously purchases to calculate our purchases, we are going to use the formula that we have in setting account. Uh, remember to get our gross profit. Uh, let's start, just try to uh, bring it here. We are saying, get to our gross profit, we are going to say your opening stock, uh, you get the purchases, then you subtract your closing stock. So we are going to say, uh, remember, we say open in stock, calculate uh, your cost of sales, say open in stock, get your purchases. Uh, if you have got pages and tens, you are supposed to subtract purchases and tens. And then you are supposed to add your carriage in once if we have them there. And then if you subtract your, your closing stock, then the answer that you are going to get uh, becomes your cost of sales. So uh, basically, this is. This is the formula that we are going to use. So we are just going to make uh, purchases and something with the formula there. So according to the question, the figures that we have, we can just go back to the question and try to see uh, what we have. So if you go back to the question, you would see that uh, the figure for purchases and returns is not there, and the figure for uh, for your carriages is also not there. So if you come here, you would see that the figure, only figure that we have, we've got opening, opening inventory there is our opening stock. Two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars, and then close the inventory with one thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars, and then at the purchase figures, the one that we uh, we calculated, we are we are going to calculate, and then uh, we we found the figure for cost of sales. So uh, we are just going to uh, substitute those figures, and then make purchases subject the formula. Remember, our cost of sales we put five thousand, and if you go up there, you will see that uh. This is our cost of sales, and then uh, we can now substitute the figures that we got for opening stock and uh, opening stock and closing stock, which is our open inventory and closing inventory. So what we are saying is, uh, if you come, uh, you'll see that we are saying opening stock, we have got 2,250, and then uh, we are adding our purchase figure that we don't have, that we want to find, and then uh, obviously we don't have our purchase returns, Go there for carriage in the question, so we can just uh, skip these uh, figures and remove them. And then we can put now subtract our closing stock, which we are given in the question uh, as 1750. So here we are saying 1750. And then the cost of self figure is the one that we found there is of $5,000. Then we can calculate it as such. So uh, in this case, now we can make uh, P the sum of the formula by saying. Uh, P is goes to uh, five thousand dollars. We take two thousand two hundred fifty dollars side it becomes a negative, and we take negative one thousand seven hundred fifty dollars side it becomes a positive. So uh, this is uh, what we have. So uh, we can just try to uh, calculate it as such. So if you calculate it. Uh, there you would see that the other that you are going to get for the figure that you are going to get there is 4,500. So this becomes our, our purchases. So remember, we are saying 5,000 but at 2,250 plus 1,750. When we get to $4,500 as our purchases, then uh, we need that now. We can now move on to the next question. Let's see what does what we have with the next person uh, being the last person. So on the next person, uh, it requires us to calculate the rate of inventory turnover. The rate of inventory turnover that is on uh, item six. So if you come here, let's try to break down the formula first. So we are saying rate. Rate of inventory turnover whereby we are saying it's equal to 
our cost of sales and then we divide by our average revenue which is our average average stock so uh, our cost of sales figure we have the, we calculated it and then average inventory obviously we are going back to the person and try to see what we have in terms of our opening and closing obviously uh, we are going to say our opening plus our closing divided by two to get our average inventory so we are going to say 2250 is our opening plus 1750 is our closing and we divide by two and then our cost cost of sales figure we calculated it we're just going to take the figure that we have there is our cost of sales so if you go up in there you'll see that our cost of sales we have it here is five thousand so uh we are just going to use those figures so we come here we substitute uh it becomes cost of sales uh remember we have got our five thousand and then we divide by our average inventory whereby we are saying uh, we are saying uh, we're going to divide by two opening plus closing so we're just going to say half and then we add uh, the two which is uh, 2250 uh, plus 1750 so uh basically uh if you add the 2250 plus 1750 you're going to get your 4000 then you divide by two you get your 2000 so basically what we are saying is uh, here uh, it's going to be uh, your 4,000 if you get uh, the two they give you 4,000 and then we divide by two it becomes your 2,000 so uh, we divide by two it becomes your 2,000 basically what we are saying here uh, we are now saying it is equal to 5,000 divided by 2,000. Try to uh, simplify it further, 2,000 into 5,000. Don't behave, your answer is 2.5. So here you can get your 2.5. Remember, uh, this rate of inventory turnover, it's supposed, the answer is supposed to remain intact. So uh, we, are getting, we are going to have 2.5 times. So uh, this is uh, what we have in terms of the last question that we have on this question 3A on the question paper of June 2024. Thank you for listening. Those who have a subscribe, please subscribe and share. We are still coming to the videos. That's for this video. I'm sending out to be